Welcome to the lesson on graphing circles, 10.7 by Mr. West. You're going to be graphing circles in a coordinate plane. It's fun because you get to do a little bit of algebra, so you got to remember back to variables and equations. All right, pay attention and enjoy. What's up, all? This is where we're going to be learning how to be, do some graphing of circles. All right, circles, graphing. Think about the coordinate plane here. All right, we're talking about the coordinate plane, and we're graphing in a coordinate plane. Now, first of all, I want to think when the center is the origin. That means that the center here of the circle is the origin, which is 0, comma, 0. So when it is the origin, we use the equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared. r squared is the radius. So let's look at this one. This one has radius 1, 2, 3, 4. Or I can say 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So the equation of this line would be x squared plus y squared equals 4 squared. Or the final equation is x squared plus y squared equals 16. All right, shall let's graph some circles, but here's what the deal. We're going to graph a circle when the or center is not the origin. Okay, what is the equation of that? Here is the equation. All right. Um, we are going to have an h and a k and a radius. Here's how it's going to look. We're still going to have x. We're going to have to minus the h, which we find right here, and we're going to take plus that's squared, plus the y minus the k squared equals r squared. So let's say we had this example here, and I wanted to find out, well, we have 5, 4 as this new center and radius 3. So I'd be writing this one as x minus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared, which would equal 3 squared. Final answer would be x minus 5 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 9. Now this time we're going to keep on finding the equations of a circle or these two circles. But we know that we are not in the origin for here, so I'm going to use the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, that squared, equals r squared. Well, let's just fill in the things. We have 4 and we have 5, so I'm going to have x minus 4 for k and plus y minus 5 squared equals, I have a radius of 2 squared, and my final answer will be x minus 4 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 4. Let's take a step back because we realize that we have a center or our h comma k is this point right here which is 4 comma 5 or our center point is 4 comma 5 which is also h k and our radius is 2. Okay let's uh, let's find out this one first. Let's find out the center ends up being negative 2 comma 1. And I have one point right here, 1 comma 5. And this one's a little bit more complicated to find out. Let's first just build our equation. We know that we have x minus, or it's going to be plus 2 squared, because this is minus right here, plus y minus 1 squared is going to equal some r squared, but we don't know what that r is yet. So I need to plug in this point for this x and this y. There's a 1, there's a 5. So I'm going to plug in the 1 first. I'm going to say I have x. Oh no, sorry. I don't have x. Instead I have a 1 plus 2 squared plus this y, which is 5 minus 1 squared is going to equal the r squared. So what is this r squared? Well, this is going to be 3 squared, so we have 3 squared plus 4 squared is going to equal our r squared. Oh, well, it looks like a Pythagorean triple. Anyways, this is 9 plus 16 equals r squared. This ends up being 
25 equals r squared r equals 5. Okay, so if we know that r equals 5, then we can plug it back into our final equation, and our final answer is x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 5, because r equals 5, and that is the answer, or the equation to this circle. Okay. Okay, what if I wanted to graph the circle with this equation? Well, let's identify some things. We have our center is at the hk, right? We have an h comma k. What is our h comma k? It's positive 4 and negative 2. Okay, because the original equation has a negative sign. So our hk is 4 comma negative 2. So I can even graph that right here. 4 comma negative 2 is going to be my center. But now we need to find out the radius. Well, the radius is going to be 36 square root, that because that's an r squared. So I need to take the square root of 36, because 36 equals my r squared. So then r equals 6. So if my radius equals 6, let's do a purple circle. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let me count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I know my radius, and I know my center. And what I'm going to do is take out a nifty tool over here, and I'm going to set down that thing right here. I'm going to turn this thing over here. Oh, it's already kind of set. I could move this thing out a bit, and like I want it to get right on my point. Right there. Okay, perfect. And let's draw a purple circle. Oh, let's draw a, why not, a green circle. Okay, and is this going to work? i got to get my pen out, and the green circle is right here. Oh, and perfectly graphing this circle that is coming from this equation way up here. Suit yacht lie. <laughs>